folks thanks for joining me today so in today's tutorial we're going to be doing um, something for Easter I'm using Easter colors and I'm using um, mold number three from the happy dotting company so it's the smaller flatter kind of stone and I gave it a base coat of white from deco art and the bottom and some of the outlining will be used with black from deco art and the color that i just used is um pistachio mint um some of the names of these paints are quite crazy but anyways that's what it was it was pistachio mint made from americana and now i'm just sketching on with my um gray charcoal pencil uh, I'm putting on a little baby lamb. So this is uh, with the Easter colors and um, a lamb, um, I guess, for Easter, as well as, I don't know if you know the saying, but um, March going uh, in like a lamb and out like a lion. So that tends to be true for this year. Um, we're in the middle of a snowstorm right now, and uh, this is the last day of March. So I guess March is going out like a lion this year. Anyhow, so I am uh, staying inside and uh, painting this absolutely adorable little lamb, and uh, I just sketch them all in. Now I'm using um, my uh, bigger blending brush that I got from Amazon. There is a link in the description below and also in the description below are all of the actual name colors and brands of the paint that I'm using just so if you happen to miss me saying it it's always there in print so you can always go down there and check it out. Uh, so the color that I'm using as my base coat for the little lamb is wild rice and it's made by Delta and I'm using that just to give it a base coat. Um, I will be doing some blending and some shading uh, with using my little blending brushes and things like that. But I wanted to get a base coat on so I have the shape. And yes, I went over top of a lot of my pencil marks or my charcoal marks, but that's okay because it's just to give you an outline and give you a basis of what you're going to be doing. Um, and where you want it. So it's more to get it more centered and um, give you the idea. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, if I draw something first, then it's sort of like carbon papered into my brain. So I know where those lines are, even though I can't see them. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's just the way that I work. I don't know if you're the same or not, but you just do whatever works for you. Uh, I'm just giving you some inspiration and uh, hopefully uh, a few tips and tricks that you didn't know about. And um, yeah, <laughs> I, that's all I can say about that is just that's how I do it. So uh, the color that I'm using now um, is tapioca from Folk Art. And it's just a bit darker than the wild rice. Again, these names are just absolutely crazy, but... <laughs> So the to to topia, oh my gosh, now I can't even say them. Uh, the tapioca is a shade darker than the wild rice. So it really gives that definition of um, the shadows and things like that. And when you're talking about a baby lamb with all of their tight little curlies, um, you definitely got to make this sort of merge all together. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just adding a little bit. Um, right now I'm going back in with some of the wild rice, the lighter color, uh, just to um, you get, get rid of some of the darker stuff and uh, put on more of the dark. So, or put more of the light. Uh, so now I'm doing his little hooves and I am using a color that I made myself. So basically all I did was I took a little bit of white and an even smaller amount of black and mixed them together. Uh, now I do have grays in my stash, but uh, sometimes I don't, you know, want to get out of my chair and go and get it. And yeah, I don't have them right close next to me. So I just 
make my own paints and that's what I did here. So I do his two front uh, hooves there. I was just about to say pause um, but yeah his hooves and then he's sort of sitting um, in the splits position. <laughs> it's the best that I could do to get him to fit onto the rock and I just thought he was so much cuter that way. So um, I'm just filling in his uh, hooves on the um, each side of him because he's doing the splits. He's a gymnast lamb. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, I guess maybe uh, with the storm coming, I'm a little bit goofy. But anyhow, so um, I just uh, finished up doing some touches on his hooves there trying to make them a, about the same size. You want to get them as close as you can. But I am going to let this dry and then, oh, here I do it now. Oh no, what I'm doing now is I am putting in some shading. And you'll watch me do this and then watch me paint all over it. And then later on, put on the shading. So <laughs> I just didn't like how it was going on. Um, it was a little bit too... Uh, definitive I guess so uh, too big I didn't like it so I paint over it again uh, with the gray color and um, yeah I fix it up later so but what I was gonna say is you want to get the hooves relatively the same size but they don't have to be perfect because um, we're going to put some of those little lamb curly hairs over top and uh, then I will be doing some outlining. So it doesn't matter if they're the same size right at this moment, but when you put in the, um, the little curls that sort of hang over the hooves, uh, you won't really notice it all that much. So, uh, but I just think he looks so darn cute. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think of him and uh, if you think he's cute and if you're going to give him a try because uh, he was a lot of fun to do uh, and I'm sorry I call him a he I tend to do that quite a bit with a lot of my paintings they're all he's um, unless I absolutely make it look like a girl so maybe it's a he because I'm putting on a blue nose uh, <laughs> I don't know but anyways this is Perry uh, sorry Prairie Blue from Folk Art uh, that I put on the nose there and then I added a little bit of white to give it some shading and again I didn't like it so I'm just going to let it dry and I'm going to fix it up later. Um, so here I am putting on the uh, the lighter color so this is the wild rice color and I'm just defining where the areas are where these curls are going to go and like I said I put it over top of his hooves so you don't really notice if they're slightly bigger than the other but uh, it's just sort of here's a little tip and trick for you it's how you can um, fix it up and um, give the illusion to the eye that uh, they are the same size or maybe even one's one a uh, little bit ahead of the other and uh, that's how he's keeping his balance I don't know whatever works uh, is is all good so I'm just going around and uh, adding in a bit more of the lighter color and now I got to give this guy some cute little eyes. So just little, little, um, I'm using a, a dotting stylus and I'm just giving him some little uh, oval shaped eyes um, and just black. Uh, I will put a little bit of white on there uh, but I'm also going to use the same tool to drag his eyebrows like look how adorable he is and so once I did that I realized hmm, his nose is too big so I got to make it smaller so I go back in with my wild rice and and then I go back in with my tapioca and I just blend all around it and uh, let that dry so that's what I like so much about acrylic paint if you make a mistake not a big deal just let it dry and you paint over top of it. Uh, it's just, it's really simple to work with and um, and it does dry quickly so that uh, you don't have to wait forever for it to dry so that you can fix your, oops. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. As I fix up this guy's nose here, I just wanted to remind you guys that uh, the best way to let me know that you like this video is by giving me that thumbs up. 
And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I upload a new video every Friday. And ring the bell because it'll tell you exactly when. I want to point out too that um, as you're watching me uh, do all of this blending and stuff, sometimes being lazy doesn't pay. So let me explain. Um, I was being lazy and I didn't grab the other paintbrush that I wanted. So you'll see his nose is a little bit uh, crooked. And that's because I tried to fix it with my small little blending brush. What I should have done was use my fine lining brush and then go around the outside of it because I'm going to be outlining it in black anyway. So I should have done that so I made sure that I got the shape that I wanted. Then go in with my blending brush. So learn from my mistake. Uh, make sure that you switch up the brush that is appropriate for the application that you're going to be using it for because sometimes it doesn't always turn out. So I uh, just finished doing my black all the way around. I will be putting a gold border on this and I will be adding some, we'll call them Easter eggs, but they're just dots of the Easter colors uh, around on the outside. But that comes later. So we're just going to continue working on this guy and now we're defining his little curls. So in cartoons and coloring books and things like that, when they do like little baby farm animals or any animal actually that's fuzzy, this is what they do. So that's what I'm doing. So I learned this as a child <laughs> from coloring in coloring books. So um, this is uh, how I defined my little lamb's curls. And uh, if you know of a better way of doing it, please let me know. Uh, I would be really interested to, to learn a different technique from you guys. So that would be fun. Um, oh, and I just wanted to remind everybody that I do have some new stock in my Etsy shop. So head on over there. Um, I do have uh, some mystery boxes that are listed there. Um, again, um, if you purchase a mystery box, you will receive as one of the items in there guaranteed will be uh, one of these uh, Lazy Susans that I use to uh, paint my rocks on. So that will be in uh, the mystery box if you so choose to purchase one of those as well as um, I've got some uh, new rocks in there. So if you're interested to go and check that out, um, by all means, new stuff is there and I'm making a promise to everyone right now that I'm going to be updating a lot more uh, as I um, create new stuff because I'm not only just painting these, I am painting all the time. I d it's my go to when I'm having a stressful day or I need to wind down, I go and paint. So I have an awful lot of um, rocks and stones, but I also paint on um, tiles and um, boxes, like wooden boxes. Um, what else do I paint on? It's, it's endless, canvases, clocks. I do all sorts of stuff. Now you won't find those in my Etsy shop. However, you will find them uh, in previous posts on my Facebook page. So if you're interested to see any of my other stuff that I've done, I urge you to go over there, scroll through the photos and the albums that I have posted, um, just to see what else I've been up to. Um, I'm, I'm never bored, let's just say that. <laughs> I, I keep myself so busy. Um, and I just seem to keep adding to it, but that's okay. That's my choice. But, uh, yeah, so head on over there and check things out. I'm also thinking of offering stones that are not painted along with maybe some handmade dotting tools and or paint brushes, um, I'm just curious if there would be anybody interested in that before I go ahead and do it. But uh, so, yeah, that's something I'm thinking about. And I'd love your input. If you could give it, uh, throw a comment in the bottom there and let me know. 
uh, I would be very grateful to know if it's even worthwhile for me to do that. So I'd be offering the stones that I work on uh, most of the time on my YouTube videos. So they would be made from the molds from the Happy Dotting Company. Um, so just let me know in the comments below if anybody would be interested in that and I will work on getting those into my Etsy shop. So I'm getting close to the end of this and as I've been jabbering away you've watched me then put the uh, light reflections on his hooves which is much nicer than how I was doing it in the beginning. He's got a little bit of um, reflection on his nose and just a little sort of mouth there and he looks very very cute. So I did the gold outline of it and I used Spun Gold by DecoArt. Deco and now I'm just doing dots. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see at this angle, but I do have little tick marks there so that I keep on track. So the first color I used was lavender from Folk Art. Now I'm using daffodil yellow from uh, Deco Art. No, sorry, from Folk Art. And then I'm using bubblegum pink to fill, the, fill it in, and that's by Americana. So I go in and I fill in the pink um, between each of the uh, yellow and purple dots. But I do, you can see I'm kind of all over the place with this, but I'm just making sure my spacing is correct because these particular ones I don't have little tick marks for. So I finish it off, let it dry, give it a coat of resin, and then it's finished. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.